Hello. I'm going to address the proof of the following statement. Uh, we're going to prove that if F is injective, this holds if and only if for every subset A and X that F inverse of F of A is equal to A. So in class, I proved that if F is injective, then this holds. And the containment where F is needed to be injected is the inverse image of the image of A contained in A. That required A to be F to be injective. However, we always have, regardless if F is injective or not, the fact that the subset A is always contained in the inverse image of the image of a subset A. So I guess I should say, uh, of course, that F is a map from X to Y. Okay? So I want you to know this proof, so I'm going to prove the other direction in two different ways. First, I'll do a proof by contrapositive, and then I'll do a proof by uh, direct proof. So, to that end, let us do the contrapositive proof first. So, proof of this direction by contrapositive. So, I'm going to assume F is not injective and show the negation of this statement. So let's assume that F is not injected. We want to show the negation of this statement for every subset A of X um, that the following quality holds. We'll show that there exists a subset A of X such that, well, this not holding, we always have A contained inside of the pre-image of the image of a subset A. We always have that direction, regardless of that being injective or not. So if this doesn't hold, all we're saying is that this will not be, the left side will not be contained in the right side. So such that F inverse of F of A is not a subset of A. Okay, so that's what we need to show. To say that this is not equal means that this in particular is not a subset of A. Again, this is always, the right side is always a subset of the left side. Okay, so we're going to kind of, we're going to construct this set A. Um, so F is not injective. Since F is not injective, There exists two elements, x1 and x2 and x, such that, and a y and y, such that f of x1 equals y equals f of x2. But x1 not equal to x2. That's what we mean to not be injective, right? So let's draw a helpful picture. An image might help here a bit. We have x, we have the set y, we have the map f that goes from x to y. We have two elements, x1, we have an element x2. Uh, they both map to the same point y, and I'm claiming that x1 is not equal to x2. Okay. So, Let's set A to be equal to the set containing only x2. So I'm going to claim that this is, this is the A that will work. Because remember, to show, to prove an existence, we just need to exhibit at least one set A that satisfies this property. 
So, so that n uh, clearly y is an element of the image of the set A, which I'm saying is the set containing x2. Y is in the image of this set. In fact, y, this is the only thing in the image of this set, because x2 goes to y. Right? The image of x2 is y, so y is in this set. Um, so, then x1 is an element of the image, inverse image of the image of the set containing x2. Okay, so if y is inside this image, if y is in this image, then the inverse image of something that has y is definitely x1. In fact, it's also x2. So I can say clearly that x1 and x2 are both in the pre-image of this set, because this set has y in it. In fact, y is the only thing in that set. So in the pre-image of y, we can see it's x1 and x2. Um, so since these are elements of this set, x1 comma x2 is a subset of the inverse image of f of x2. So if it were the case, then that's the inverse image of the image of the set of x2, which is our a, is in fact a subset of a. So if we had the case where this was a subset of a, if this holds, if this holds, we're going to say obviously this we want to show that this can't hold. If this holds, then I have the set containing x1, x2 is a subset of this, which is a subset of this, and that's absurd. The set x1, comma x2 cannot be a subset of a set that only contains x2. Um, it's absurd. Well, let's just say it cannot happen. Well, the next would happen. Uh, well, how do I really want to word this? This is not really, I'm trying to turn our contradiction proof into just a contrapositive so that it's still a direct proof. So if it were the case that this hold, then that would happen. Um, and hence, this cannot be, and hence, since this cannot be the case, the, the, the case we have, this cannot be the case, then we have F inverse of f of the set containing x2 is not a subset of x2 as desired. So we've proven what we want to show. So by the contrapositive, if it is the case that every subset a contains an x that this equality holds, then f is injective. So that's one version of the proof. And I want to pause and do a different version of the proof.